Hello everyone, welcome back to my another video and in this video we will talk about the must know data structures for a Salesforce interview at a product based company. So if you have a coming uh, interview at a product based company for a Salesforce role or in the future you want to prepare. So this is the video for you and I'll explain you the must know data structures for a Salesforce interview. So we will also deep dive into the basics of data structures and uh, like the complexities to measure the performance of data structures. So uh, stay connected till the end. Thanks. Uh, now, firstly, before we start an important note, the data structure topics that I'm going to explain in this video are based on my experience uh, giving interviews to product based companies. So um, like the data structure round uh, depends can vary from company to company. Some prefer to take it while others prefer to focus only on the Salesforce specific skill set. So some top product based companies, for example, Google, PayPal or other companies do take the data structure round while, while other companies uh, usually prefer to focus on the Salesforce specific skill set and they don't take the data structure round. To the basics as always, what are data structures and why as an IT professional or a software pro professional, you should know it. So a, a data structures basically is a way of organizing and storing data in a computer so that it can be accessed and modified efficiently. So in our computer, we have multiple parts. So let's say we let's take an example of CPU. So CPU needs to access the memories very uh, frequently. Uh, so it has RAM, it has ROM, read only memory, random access memory. So there should be a way we we store data, uh, data in uh, memory and uh, like it should be we should be able to access and uh, modify it efficiently. So data structure is just like a way of organizing and storing data in a computer. Uh, data, uh, data structure defines the relationship between the data elements, the operations that can be performed on them, such as adding, removing or modifying elements. Now, why is it important to understand data structures as a software professional? As a software professional, much of your work involves around writing code that manipulates and processes data, right? The key to working, uh, the key to writing efficient code is selecting the right data structure for the task in hand. So as a Salesforce developer, we have uh, three top collections that is list, sets and map. Now someone tells you that they want to sort uh, data. So what kind of data structure should you use? It should be list. Someone tells you that you want to store a key value pairs. Let's say in the future you might need uh, to fetch the value for that specific key. So the data structure you should use is map. So similar to that, like um, uh, we, we should uh, have the ability to select the right data structure for the task in hand. Uh, since the choice of data structure directly impacts the time complexity, which is like how quickly operations are performed and also the space complexity, that is how much memory is used. Now, like uh, broadly, uh, let's discuss the types of uh, data structures. Uh, broadly, it can be divided into three categories, linear data structures, non-linear data structures and hash based data structures. So linear data structures are those uh, data structures where data is stored one after the other, like in a sequential memory. So for example, array, Let's take an integer array. We know that integer takes a space of four bytes. So in a sequential uh, data structure, uh, you know that if the first element is stored at four bytes, the second would be stored at eight bytes. So it's sequential contiguous block of memory. So within it, we have arrays, linked list, stacks, queues stacks and queues are just the way of representing uh, data yeah stacks and queues can be implemented using both arrays and linked lists now what are non linear data structure basically the opposite of linear data structure so um uh, the example of linear non linear data structures are trees and graphs right and uh, lastly we have the hash based data structures which can be hash tables which can be hash sets so if I tell you about the Salesforce equivalent, it's like maps, hash, ma hash tables or hash maps or maps and hash sets can be sets equivalent to Salesforce. So basically here in hash based data structure, basically a hash value is calculated and uh, in that the uh, value is stored and uh, in the average time complexity of fetching data from this hash based data structures are is constant time. 
Now, how do we measure the performance of different data structures? So here comes the concept of complexities. The performance of data structures is primarily measured in terms of time complexity and space complexity. These metrics help determine how well a data structure will perform under different conditions. Uh, those conditions can be whether the data set is small, whether it's a large data set, what about frequent uh, insertions, deletions and lookup. So time complexity, time complexity tells us like how fast the operation happens. So if someone uh, tells you that the time complexity is constant time, so it what it means, it means that the operation takes the same amount of time regardless of the size of the data structure. Example, uh, fetching element from array. So see this uh, capital O, right? This is called as big O. So big O is basically represented as the worst case time complexity. So what is a linear time complexity? So linear time complexity is the operation time grows linearly with the size of the data. Similarly, we have quadratic time complexities and other types. So these were some of the common time complexities. Uh, now, what about the space complexity? How much space uh, does the data structure take? So when we are adding uh, another data structure, uh, so it needs some auxiliary memory as well, right? Like you are using another array. So that needs some memory. So basically space complex complexity measures how the memory usage of the algorithm grows with the size of its data. Uh, some common complexities here are similar uh, like big O of one. Uh, that means constant space, which means that the space required does not depend on the size of the data structure. L uh, linear space and quadratic space you can read on your own. Now, exa example of time complexity. So if you have uh, not watched my uh, collections in Apex series, do watch them where I've explained the different time complexities of list methods, set methods and map methods. So for example, we have a list dot add. So this is a constant time list dot clone list dot contains uh, are a big O of N. That is the linear time complexity. So yep, do watch them. Now, um, majorly, let's be back on our major topic, which are what are the important data structures for Salesforce interview at a product base. So uh, I would say arrays or list are one of the most important topic. Then we have uh, strings question. String questions is one of the important topics. Then uh, hash maps or maps and sets are important data structures that you should know for a uh, uh, Salesforce interview at a product base. Stacks, queues are uh, important uh, topics as well. Similarly, linked lists. Uh, discuss about the algorithms that are important. Those are binary search. Binary search is super, super important. Uh, apart from that, sorting algorithms are uh, important. For example, merge sort, quick sort. Now, if uh, now you might be wondering, wondering, how do I prepare for such topics? So you need to go to my playlist I've created a specific playlist data structures and algorithms in Salesforce for Salesforce folks. So here I've explained the collections in Apex, which I told you the list, the sets and maps. Uh, I have a specific playlist for string class uh, methods in Apex. Then I have created a video for link list, link list interview question. Twice operator you can skip for now. Binary search uh, is a really important topic. That is the reason why I've created two different videos for it. One contains the implementation details and one contains the interview questions. And do watch the two sum and the three sum problem. It's like really uh, classic lead code problems. Stacks and queues, I have created uh, specific videos and solved questions related to them. So I will uh, share this playlist link. Uh, uh, in the comments below of this video. So do check them out and uh, best of luck for your data structures preparation for Salesforce interview. And thanks everyone for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future. Thanks everyone.